Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are simply going to be showing you how you can get some icons into your action bar as part of your progress bars. So what that means by that is pretty much when the player's abilities are not ready it's going to be greyed out and when they are ready they're going to be nice and bright and it's just going to indicate to the player that they can actually use um, you know, those abilities. Now what I have done is I've actually created a couple of icons and I put them all inside of the RPG HUD assets. Now if you haven't got the latest version of this stuff make sure you do go ahead and download it just so that you have what I need. So I'm going to show you quickly exactly what I'm talking about. So if I go into my HUD assets folder you can see I've got these icons here. So I've got the fill images, the no fill images and that's what you need. Just these four things for now. Now bear in mind I haven't actually set up this progress bar system for all of my abilities yet. That's something that you guys can do sort of in your spare time just following the video that I did last time, the, the blueprints is exactly the same for each one. And you also don't have to have a, you know, a cooldown for each one, but the option is going to be there with these images. So having said that, taking these, let's dive into the engine and get them set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into our blueprints folder, open up our HUD assets folder, and then we're just going to drag these little icons into our scene just like this. So just drop it in there and then just import them. Now generally you're not going to have any issues importing those so they should just come through fine. What we want to do now then is open up our RPG HUD widget and inside of here we just pretty much need to drag and drop those um, you know images in there um, not the images but you know just drop them in there into our progress bars. Now if you've got a couple of progress bars already for each one of your abilities then you just do the same thing for each of these. Now what I'm going to do is just chuck this one in here as well. If I zoom in, I'm just going to line the second ability one up just like that. And then see if I can make it nice and even just like that looks good to me. Anyway, so with the first one selected, we have got a heal ability, which is this one here that I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the background image and then I'm actually going to set this to icon one. And then the one that I'm after is the no fill. So that's what it should be when it's, you know, not ready. So if I go ahead and scroll down real quick, turn my percentage down, you can see I've got that darker variant. However, if I was to then set my margin to zero on this real quick, and then set my fill image to the one that is, you know, filled. So icon one and then fill, you can see as it goes up now, if I move this up and down, you can see it gives you this cool effect where it just starts to look ready. Now it does look a bit odd in color because we've got the extra green on here, but if we set our fill color to one, 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 and one for everything you can see now, it does look quite nice when it goes up there. So if we go ahead and test this in the game, we should be able to see our action bars and our abilities sorting, uh, sort of starting to come to life. So you can see it's ready at the moment, press 1 to use my ability, and then you can see now it comes up nice and quickly just like that, and I'm very, very happy with that. Now, if you have got other abilities that you've made, you can just go ahead and fill those up and do the same thing. It's really simple. What I will do, however, is I'm going to quickly set up my progress bar for this, for my second ability, which is the magic projectile. Now, with the magic projectile, I want a much quicker cooldown time, so I want them to be able to use it over and over and over again, um, nice and quickly, whereas the heal, you know, you want to be quite slow like you saw there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go into my third person character real quick and then I'm just going to set up all the variables again. So what I'm after is just another float and we are simply just going to call this ability to cooldown and then set your variable type to float. And then if we go and find our heal, if you take a look at what we did here, you know, we're just checking to see if it's greater than one. We're pretty much doing the same thing over on our ability two. So drag this out, paste this in here. And then if it's true, put it to that and that, and that's all good. And then we also need to change the reference over here from ability two to ability one. Chuck that into A there, and that'll be all good. And then all the way over at the end, we just need to copy this code over here. So copy drag it down to your ability to code and then what you want to do is just drop it in there just making sure that we change some of these references so get rid of ability one here replace that with ability two do the same thing over here as well so ability two 
that's all good and then over here we don't want to be changing ability one instead it is set ability to cooldown hook it up just like this and then in there and then do the same thing for this one as well so drag it set ability to cooldown hook it up just like that just leaving this to zero and that's all good so what we need to do now then is just quickly go into our other asset for our rpg hud and then just link up the progress bar and it's as simple as that so what we're doing is simply getting our binding for percentage create the binding and then over here just type in cast to third person character as third person character simply get ability to cooldown drag it in drop it in there and then as the object wildcard get player character and that's all good so now we've just got to put the icon in for this second one as well um, but what I do want to do quickly is just make sure the cooldown is working suppress so 2 uh, on our keyboard and at the moment it's not working and the reason why it's not working is because by default we haven't set it to be ready so I've got to quickly open up my third person character go to my ability to cooldown and you can see the first one is set to one we just need to do the same thing over here to get that to work so if we try it now press play it's fully blue press 2 it uses the ability and then at the end of it it starts to, starts to move so that's all good so Go into our RPG HUD and let's just swap this icon over. Now you'll notice a second ago it was over to the side so just set your anchor point to the bottom middle and then over here for our progress we want to set this to bottom to top and then we can start putting in these images. So the first image is going to be icon 2 and it's the no fill one we're after and then set your margin down to zero just to tidy this up a bit and then for the fill image set this to icon 2 fill and this will start to bring it to life make sure you set your margin to zero on there as well and then as you move your percentage now you can see it goes up and down and once again you've got that weird blue so set your rgb down to one and that will start to come to life just like that so you can see now hopefully we can have our action bars sort of moving separately from each other as you use them which is pretty cool so if I use that ability and then this one, you can see them moving completely independent of each other and it looks really, really nice. Now one thing that I am going to do quickly is go inside of my third person character and just change the cooldown time on my ability number two. And the way I'm going to do this is just double it by changing the speed of the delay, just reduce it so it happens more often. Press play shoot it and hopefully we should see that bar just creep up real quick there which is real nice and you can just see it going and you can just you just do it one after another basically anyway that's pretty much everything for our icons for our action bar hope you guys have enjoyed the video just as much as i have once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.